You're going to need the following supplies, a cookie cutter, fondant scraps, wafer paper, malt, a flour mold, paper punch, white gel color, brushes, a small knife or exacto, and some petal dust. First, what we're going to do is we're going to mix our white gel color with the color of our choice and then paint it on our uh, cut cookie dough. It's raw cookie dough. We're just going to paint it like it is and then put it in the oven and bake it like you normally would at whatever temperature you bake your cookies at. When it comes out of the oven, it's going to have this beautiful crackle technique on it. It's so easy and it looks gorgeous. So this is what it's going to look like after this. Then our next step is we're going to add a little bit of a fondant rope. And all I do is I roll this out into a snake, roll it really thin, roll it about twice as wide as your cookie, bring the ends together, and then twist. You're going to twist both ends in opposite directions. So one end you'll push and one end you'll pull away from you. Then add it to your cookie push it down if you need to you might add a little bit of water to help it stick trim the edges off with your knife then our next step is we're going to get our flour mold with our fondant you can use modeling chocolate if you prefer um, we're just going to push that in there make sure it's good and firm inside of our our mold and then unmold it to make our flour now when you take it out be careful you don't squish your flower petals in the original cookie, I uh, piped the stem with some royal icing, but for this purpose, I, I didn't do that. Our next step is we're gonna take our wafer paper scraps and just use a paper punch. You can use whatever paper punch you have. So if you don't have this exact one, but you can find some um, maple leaves, any kind of leaf will work. And if you can't find a paper punch, just cut little tiny leaves out with a scissor. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add um, a tiny bit of water to a paintbrush, and then you can add these um, wafer paper leaves onto your cookie with just a tiny bit of water. Um, if you prefer, you can use a little tiny dot of oil icing if you have it handy, but I'm just attaching these with water for right now. Now for an, a little bit of extra dimension, what I do is I get a brown petal dust or a tan petal dust and I'm just going to lightly brush it around the edges. It goes into those cracks and really accentuates them so it makes your cookie look more antiqued and weathered than it would have otherwise. And that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. This technique works really great to do a rust, anything rustic. So have some fun and make sure you post what you create. Thanks for watching. Bye.